Yeah. You didn't watch the Super Eagles yesterday. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was pathetic. Mm-hmm. It was, it was very disappointing. Very I, I saw Injury the time. Yeah. Oh, as yeah. to be kind of super egos now i don't want to lament about the super egos and somebody sent a message yeah. somebody said your you know claims about no, the, no. the coach I don't, i've not lied about the super egos since, mm-hmm. since that day in russia during the world cup when we had a chance to advance yes you know to advance to uh to the quarterfinals we had i mean it was a game that was already sealed then the truck could manage it he couldn't manage it. I was that was the most one of the most disappointing days, you know, of watching football. I, he couldn't manage it, and then Argentina came back in that game and won, and then we came back home. And I thought that was that should have been the end yeah, of no. Mister Tenotro. He has tried. Okay, go. You are not even a Nigerian, you know. But it's since 2018. It's yeah. about three years now. He's still at the job, you know. And things got worse by the year. Yeah. If you look at the team, you will not believe it. I mean, we had Victor Osime, one of the best strikers out of currently. The you know, his value is over 100 million pounds. Playing against Central African Republic. We tell it be 150, 160 one, in the one, world. 120. In the world, yeah. And then we lost our home in Lagos. Yes. It, it was, it was disappointing. In Lagos. Yeah. I saw the game and I, I wept. Unbelievable outrage. <laughs> you know. it's, not, it's unfortunate. And what, what, what General Troy is still in his job. You know, today will be his job. Yeah. I, mean, I don't want to blame him. I blame the man that is the president of the NFF. That one has really taken our football to from the glorious heights to the very flat ground, and he's so happy about it. Imagine he hasn't played Genotron for eight months. Mm. I mean, you cannot blame Genotron. People are saying, "Don't blame him." Uh, the man that hasn't been paid for eight months. How much? How much effort can he put in the mm. job? But why is Genotron still in the job if you don't? You haven't been paid for eight months. Mm. If they don't pay me for two months here, yeah, while I'm working special effort, I'm not coming for the third month. Yes, he should leave his job and go. And go to Germany or France, where it comes from. Like I was saying, maybe he, he's, he's holding on to the job, clinging on to it. Maybe he's not getting offers. And zero coaching, zero coaching. Look at the team. Look at, look, at, look at it. Look at it. Look at look at Super Eagles losing at home to a Central. I, I don't even know what is the country. <laughs> or, <laughs> you don't know who is People laugh, but these are very serious things, especially if you have passion for the Nigerian game. Very true. You know, I mean, Central African Republic at home in Lagos. I think After the course, all the goes through the course yesterday. Yes. yes. And the yes. people that bet, I, I pity them. I feel for them. Uh, well, anybody, betting, anybody, why you bet? You know, so, <laughs> you know, but I mean, the team comes, they have parties at the court, uh, they spend all their time on social media, and mm-hmm. then they go and play. Say, uh, they, they even had uh, an after party. The embarrassment, the embarrassment is just of one. After party, after losing. Yes. They, they, they have, I mean, the, the party. If you don't, unless you don't know them, <laughs> that's all they do. The president of the NFF, in fact, is the president of parties, Mr. Maju Pinik. The, that's what he likes to do. He's more of a social and entertainment president yes. than the critical f- football technical man who understands the importance. The Super Eagles have, I, I mean, that don't mean, Tops, if, you, if you used to love the Super Eagles, now you'll be living in, unless you're living in the guy, you know that the Super Eagles have really, have really lost, lo- it. Yeah, lost it completely. And at this point, point in time, we have some of the best footballers in the world True. from Nigeria. Check if you do, if you watch the Premier League, you watch the Spanish League, mm-hmm. Nigerian names all over the place. There's a guy that plays for Villarreal now. His name is Dan Juma. Of course, Dan Juma is a Nigerian name. Mm-hmm. He's playing some of the best football ever. Michael Olisa, I think he's 18 year old for Crystal Palace. Those yes. are Nigerian children. Play if we have a good coach, and this talent together, Nigeria will go places. Be formidable. You know, but with Kenatra, we cannot even beat Central Africa. That's what we said about your time this morning. But I did not I'm successfully like I can't <laughs> I've unloaded my Zoki. Let's talk about it. Don't forget, we're streaming live from Facebook, Inspiration 92.3 FM. Drop your messages there. WhatsApp 0817-313-6193. Over to you, Zaina. Did you enjoy this video? Hit the subscribe button for more. Leave a comment and like. Thank you.